What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about a few of the most overlooked men's shoe styles currently on the market that I believe are worth a serious look. Stick with me. Okay, welcome back. It's great to see you. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. So like I mentioned, I wanna talk about some of the overlooked and underrated shoe styles that at least in my opinion, deserve serious attention. First up, really quick, my name's John and I'm the founder of 40 Over Fashion where I create articles for my website and videos for this YouTube channel twice a week that surround men's lifestyle topics. So if that's something that interests you, please consider hitting that subscribe button because I would love to have you be part of this community. Okay, first up is the black leather sneaker. Now, I do see this from time to time, but it seems right now everybody is so focused on the all white sneaker, me included, that the black sneaker tends to get a little overlooked. Personally, I love incorporating a shoe like this with dark denim if I'm going out for a casual evening. So even though it's still a sneaker and also inherently still very casual, there's something about the black leather sneaker that just elevates that sneaker look just enough to be acceptable for a nice casual evening out. Next up is the Jodhpur boot. Now, this is a boot design that's been making a comeback over the last couple of years, but I still see that it's being overlooked quite a bit. Now, I do realize this one is a little polarizing and you kind of either like this one or you don't, but I think it's such a distinctive and unique look and it deserves a second chance because not a lot of guys are gonna be wearing this one and you can definitely make a statement and stand out from the crowd for all the right reasons. I've got this pair in this really nice black suede, but I really think a pair of dark brown or light brown suede would be absolutely fantastic. These are a perfect complement to a great pair of jeans. Next up, we have the loafer. Now, for whatever reason, loafers don't seem to get that much attention anymore because they kind of remind some people of 80s Wall Street or your dad's slip-ons. Guys, rest assured, this is definitely not the case. These loafers right here are coming from today's sponsor, Jay Butler. Now, I met the owner of Jay Butler uh, about a year ago at a conference and really enjoyed this guy's energy. He's an enthusiastic, younger guy, and he's making a very quality product for all the right reasons. So a little background on the owner. He ran a really popular style blog for about seven years and his shoe brand was basically born from the comments he was receiving on his blog. He wanted lower cost, better style, better materials, better construction, and he also wanted the shoe fully lined inside with full grain cow leather, which is somewhat abnormal these days. The shoe has also a shorter vamp and a thinner sole, which gives the shoe an elegant slim look while still being durable. And assortment wise, they kind of follow a narrow and deep strategy where they focus on just a few styles, but make them in a ton of colors. They're designed to be super soft, super comfortable, and super flexible. And they do this with that thinner sole and the shorter vamp that I mentioned earlier, because the shoe needs to be flexible and soft to be comfortable. Guys, I'm a huge fan of Jay Butler, and I do hope you'll click that link that I'll leave down below to go check out what they have to offer. You will not be sorry. Next, going back to boots, we have the Chelsea boot. Now, personally, I put off owning Chelsea boots for a very long time, I'm not really sure why, but I think at least for me, I felt that the design was just a little too simple and plain, but I have come to realize, however, that the simple design is what makes them so great. They're comfortable, they're sleek, they're sexy, they come in lots of different colors and materials. I currently own one pair of Chelsea's in this dark brown leather, but I do have my eye on some in this dark gray suede. Black leather Chelsea's look absolutely badass and light brown Chelsea's go with practically everything. I was completely missing the boat before jumping on the Chelsea boot bandwagon, and I highly encourage you to jump on board with me. Next on my list, we have the whole cut or one cut Oxford dress shoe. This is a very elegant shoe, as you can see, because the, as the name would suggest, the entire upper is made from one solid piece of leather with only one seam at the heel. Now, because it's made with only one large piece of leather, that leather quality needs to be perfect because there's nowhere to hide any imperfections. And because of this design, I think it gets passed up in favor for the more classic cap toe or wingtip Oxford. It is a formal shoe that's maybe one step down from your classic cap toe, but I think it works just as well in a lot of the same settings where you would normally reach for an Oxford. I would not wear this with jeans, 
but it would be right at home with any type of suit. And if your current shoe collection has all the normal bases covered, it might be time to get yourself a pair of hole cuts. Like I mentioned earlier, if you enjoy men's lifestyle topics, kind of like this, please hit that subscribe button and join me in just a couple days for a brand new video. Also guys, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what shoes you think are overlooked. Thank you once again to Jay Butler for helping me make this video, and I'll see you guys in just a few days for a brand new video. But until then, be good to yourself.